just gonna go run some errands and I'll see you guys in a bit. dinner and we went to bed because we got home pretty late but today is Saturday and we're gonna go run some errands again we're gonna go have brunch and then probably go shopping we'll see but I'm gonna bring you guys along with us I wanted to buy this set for Andy, but sadly they didn't have her size. Hobby Lobby has really cute pumpkins and everything was 40 to 50% off. because when I got there the guy told me that they were only taking cash so I didn't have cash but um, the machine ended up working at the end but I ended up getting the M&M and the semi-sweet chocolate chunk um, I've had the semi-sweet chocolate chunk before and it's so good but I've never had the, um, the M&M so I'm gonna try it with you guys See if it's any good. It's huge. Huge cookie. It's so good. Mmm. Pretty good. Yeah. It has M&Ms and then it has chocolate chips. And now I'm gonna eat the semi-sweet chocolate. So good. I love that when they do it on TikTok and they just like cut it in half. You can see all the chocolate chips. Oops. This was my favorite. I rate this one a 10 out of 10 and I rate this one, the M&M, a 7. Lindy is taking a nap. We're going to watch a movie. Um... And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Sunday. We're going to go have lunch. I think we're going to go to Wingstop. And then I've been wanting to get some Ugg dupes from Target for Indy. But they've been sold out everywhere. 
showing that it, they have some in stock, but we're gonna go check it out and see if they have them. And I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, it is really hot. Yesterday was the first day of fall, but honestly, it felt like it was 100 degrees outside. So today is pretty hot, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with us and I'll see you guys when we get to Wingstop. So we went to Wingstop, but it was really hot in there. So we decided to leave and now we're at Pluckers. Okay, there's a 20 minute wait, so we're just waiting. So I'll see you guys inside. <laughs> Everybody needs this throw blanket. It is so pretty. The quality was really nice and it was only $20. that has been sold out everywhere. two days ago I picked up some paper towels because we were low on paper towels the first bag we got some gummy bears we also got these um granola bars for Indy because she really likes these and these are actually really they're made with really good ingredients um they're excellent source of fiber and they have zero sugar added and then also her yogurt because she eats a yogurt a day she loves yogurt and also the granolas and that's it for this bag the next bag right here we have some um dish soap so i really like this dish soap i've been buying it for a while now it's their seventh generation dish soap um, it's supposed to be plant-based. I really like it. And I really like the smell. It smells like oranges. Next thing is this Tree Hot Cocoa Colada um, Sugar Scrub. This one smells really good. I was between this one and the watermelon. But, oh my god, I love anything coconut. And it smells delicious. And I can't wait to use it. And I ended up finding the Uggs Dupes. They've been sold out everywhere. I even had my family members checked back home and nobody's been able to find them. So I actually placed an order online, but they ended up canceling it because it didn't have any in stock. So I checked another Target that's pretty close to us and they said they had it, but they weren't doing the pickup in store. So we had to go to the store and check to see if they had them and they did. So I'm so happy that I found them so adorable they are $15 so not bad I think the Uggs run for $50, $60 these are so adorable can't wait for her to wear them but that's it that was it for my Target haul I might make some Trader Joe's noodles that are on because I'm obsessed these are the noodles they're so good but I do add other things to them because I feel like the sauce they come with just doesn't taste that good but um, it does come with the soy and sesame sauce. But I add different things to them, but I'll show you guys what I add later on. So 
So I'm gonna show you guys how I make the Trader Joe's noodles. Um, so I just follow the directions on the on the back. It says to cook the noodles for four minutes. So, but while the noodles are cooking, I like to add some chicken bouillon to give it a little bit more flavor. Like I had mentioned earlier, um, a lot of people say that the sauce that it comes with is just not enough flavor. So that's why I like to add a little bit more things to it. I drain the noodles and then I add a little bit of their crunchy chili onion. I love this thing, it's so good. And then lastly, I like to add some green onion and also some sesame seeds. As the water starts boiling, I add the noodles and let them cook for four minutes. I add them back to the pan. I'm gonna add the soy and sesame sauce packet. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of that crunchy chili onion. And I'm just gonna mix it. I'm just going to add the green onion and I love a lot of green onion and also the sesame seeds just like that so this is how my noodles look it looks so good and I want to do a taste test with you guys I did forget to record when I added the chicken bouillon, but just add a little bit of chicken bouillon when the noodles are cooking. But, but look how good these noodles look. So taste test. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. I need to get some chopsticks, but so good. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do plan on filming a end of summer, early fall clothing haul. I have a lot of clothes that I've been collecting. and I was waiting for a pair of shoes that I ordered from New Balance so I could film that video. And I got them two days ago. So that video is coming pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.